Hi! Today I'm going to tell you about time travel and currency because I'm declaring myself an authority on time travel. My credentials? I have a time traveling t-shirt, a book by Albert Einstein on how to build a time machine that was completely not made by me on the spot and is definitely real, and most importantly, a bottle of time travel. I could drink this and make it so you don't exist. Science and a little lesson called Don't Mess With Me. Frets aside, earlier this year the Bank of England announced a brand new face for the £5 note. Winston Churchill, for those of you out of the loop. Now this got me thinking about currency in general and how faces on currency will frequently change, bringing older notes to an expiry. Why does it bring older notes to an expiry? Why can't they just remain in circulation? Some might say forgery. Others might say the Queen gets really, really bored of the faces on them. I say time travel. The reasoning is so simple, it's right in your face. The facts are all there. They're, they're here on my notebook. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's shopping list. They're, they're, they're here on my no... That's my shipping list. They're here on my... It's a duck. I like ducks. Consider this, an alternative universe where notes aren't expiring. So in year 3000, notes from the year 2000 still circulating, haven't expired, they're still going around. Why the year 3000? Because Busted link its time travel in one of their songs, and I like Busted. Anyway, let's say someone in this future gets hold of a load of banknotes, goes back in time, and then puts them into a bank. Builds up interest, comes back to the future, where we've all seen Futurama, we know what happens, they get really, really rich. Pull out the notes, buy everything, own the world. Well, how about this? Someone a little smarter than that last guy gets some money, goes back in time, works out a key point in history that will affect his future in some way, pay someone some money because his money is the same as the past money, they do something for him affecting the time frame, next thing you know everyone in the future is walking around with fish bowls on their heads because they're overruled by fish things that are walking around and have spears and tridents and things that fish people have. Or cats. Fish and cats. It's like hell on earth. It's all pretty logical to me and there's a dozen scenarios you could come up with. For example I go back in time myself because I've got a bottle of time travel, I go back to your parents and I'm like, hey, here's some money because currency hasn't expired. I'm paying you to not have a child for another year. You don't exist. Now I for one am glad that vlog subject is out of the way. I mean, do you ever think about time travel and going back in time, what you would do, how you would affect history? Like, if currency didn't expire, what would you go back and buy and how would it affect your future? Let me know in the comments below. Also throw a like on the video and subscribe because you get to hear insane things about me frequently and I might have a video coming up where I'm doing a sketch in a Superman costume. Yeah. Because that's really appealing and makes people want to subscribe, doesn't it? Yeah. Bye.